Oh my god, the mosquitoes are insane. I'm at a half a tank and uh, all the gas stations are closed. Got a new paint job on the trailer. Oh, morning. It's day eight, I think, and it's 7.30 in the morning and it smells like there has been a forest fire. It's kind of hazy and I think that's from the smoke. This morning, I was expecting a nice clear sky, but especially over that way, it's pretty smoky. So hopefully that doesn't uh, disrupt our trip, because that's definitely caused problems on some of the roads here. Now that I can see the Jeep again, Jeep and trailer again this morning in the light. Jeep not so bad, trailer, oh my gosh. It is just covered in dirt and dust. Uh, and I gotta do something about this area here because it leaks dust. It's not sealing very well. It leaks water. Got the mattress a little bit wet last last night. Uh, before that, I'm gonna change the differential oil on the front here. I gotta get underneath there and change out the differential oil. I brought some with me. It's been a long while, so I wanna do that before we get back on the this road. Is a, this is definitely a rule for this trip. You gotta bring a mosquito, mosquito net or mosquito house or whatever you wanna call it because oh my god, the mosquitoes here are devastating. I don't know how people do it without it. We read comments about people who camped around here. They say they can never leave their van. I know I love my trailer kitchen, but man, when you're fighting mosquitoes the whole time, it makes it really tough. Coffee. Mmm. This is what I needed. Mmm, yummy. Oh, yeah. Gotta have my coffee before I can do anything else. So glad I brought this extra mini propane tank and my jet boil stove. Then we can cook inside the mosquito free zone. Warming up our pre made breakfast sammies. Mm. Warm those up. Eat them with coffee. Yummy, yummy. Oh, God. The mosquitoes. I don't hate things very much. I hate mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes. I, before the bears, mosquitoes is your number one hurdle. Mosquitoes. Yeah. I hate mosquitoes. <laughs> Bug spray is helpful, but it doesn't keep them away. I got bit on my butt crack. It did happen. There was one there. It itches. You know, I don't even want to think about mosquitoes anymore. It's making my morning miserable thinking about them. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> mosquitoes, the number one hurdle. If anyone was wondering what you do for a bathroom out here in the middle of nowhere, because my trailer doesn't have one built in, here's what I use. I picked this up at... REI, it's just a simple toilet seat, and you put a bag that has these silicone pellets in it that absorb all the liquid, and uh, throw this away and put it in another bag and then throw it away later when you get a chance, is how we do it. Uh, just doing a quick roadside uh, differential oil change. Completely surrounded by mosquitoes while I'm doing this, so it's going to be fun. Stiff buck, I just got bit on my back. Ah, going to be crazy. Ah, first we got to empty the old oil. Oh my god, the mosquitoes are insane. Oh my god, they're all, I feel like they're on my butt. No, I'll just have some fun. I got you, I got you, huh? Smell it. 
cooked mosquito in the morning. Damn, dude, this is insane. Okay, I thought mornings were better. There's not. Are you trying to go for that juicy butt of yours? Thanks, thanks. Kill you! I killed you! Oh. Oh. Stay away from his bottle. <laughs> I can guess. <laughs> Dead mosquito is a good mosquito. <laughs> you know what? I'm just, at this point, I'm not even looking. I'm just waving it around. Good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, take a moment. Take a moment. Take a moment. Day eight on the dempster, surrounded by mosquitoes, some on the inside even. Right there in Still? front of you. Huh? You die! Got mud flaps on. I sealed up with the duct tape the doors and made like a triple protection. Hopefully that helps keep the dust and rain out if it happens to rain again. And we're gonna see how far we can get. We got 24 hours of daylight practically, so we'll go as far as we can. update uh, based on what I can see coming off the back of the Jeep. The mud flaps are working um, so that's good news. A lot less dust coming out of the back of the Jeep itself. Now the only dust that's being created is off the trailer. Uh, so that's good. You know, that's super helpful. Um, probably less rocks and everything just being thrown up at the trailer. Should have done that sooner, I guess. The smoke from some fire looks like rolled in to this area and has completely made it ha hazed over. Like it's, yet last night it was nice and clear, it was able to see everything, but this morning, man, uh, we smelled the smoke this morning, but um, yeah, as you can see, the drive is very different with this haze uh, over everything. Uh, so there must have been a forest fire somewhere nearby that blew in all this smoke. And uh, kind of a bummer because the views aren't quite as good uh, like this. But hopefully the wind will get rid of it. Maybe we can catch it on the way back. We're gonna see if we can make it to Fort McPherson, Fort McPherson which is a pretty good trek. The mountain in front of us is actually a giant pile of rocks, if you can believe it. <laughs> it's crazy. The entire thing looks like it's made of just piles of rocks. And we decided to pull off the side of the dumpster real quick because I wanted to get some shots of it's a Red Creek. As you can see, this creek is crazy red. The water is hopefully super brown and it's making all the rocks red. I don't know if it's the rocks making the water brown or but mosquitoes are bad here too. <laughs> Hey everyone, now I fully understand why they say you really need good tires on this road. This road has a bit of everything. Uh, it, we've hit loose gravel, muddy, dirty road, and now we're on like hard rock and it's super rough. And you know, sometimes you come across like really hard, sharp rocks. Um, you know, you just got a mix of everything. And 
passing some bikers. Like even bicycles would probably get flat tires pretty easy. I guess that's why they're carrying extra tires and the dust. You know, they had a sign on the entrance to the road that said extremely dusty, uh, probably because of the dry conditions they've been having. It's been extremely dry and hot, which just adds to the road and how dusty it is. Semi passed me going the other way and I was completely blind. It was so much dust. Couldn't see. Kind of scary situation because, you know, now you lo completely lose the road. Just something to think about and keep in mind. Uh, any crack or crevice on your vehicle guaranteed will be full of dirt and dust. Uh, you know, so just if you have an RV or whatever it is, man, every little opening, everything is just going to get filled with dust. The back of the trailer and the back of the Jeep is just plastered and coated like thick layer. Um, you know, it just gets everywhere. And, it, you know, like just look behind me right now and, and there's just constant dust flying through the air. So just keep that in mind, man. You know, I can't imagine doing this road uh, with cheaper tires or with, um, you know, regular street tires. you got to have something that's designed for rough off-roads because this just tears up tires and it's just long and drawn out for really, I mean, the whole road's like this, you know, and it's lot. I mean, it beats up on your vehicle. Anything that's loose or was loose will be falling off, probably. I mean, it, it's you know, definitely a test of your vehicle, and in this case, my trailer. Man, it's putting the trailer to the test, for sure. Uh, we are at Eagle Plains stopped for gas and filled up both the gas tank on the Jeep as well as the extra rotopacks haven't d dug into the other cans yet we'll save those in just in case uh, the last big truck we passed um, gave me a nice big rock chip on my windshield so I'm gonna I brought a repair kit with me um, because uh, this road is notorious for that. So we'll give that a shot and see if I can fix that. But you can see that right there. It's kind of hard to see because it won't focus on it, but that right there is a nice big rock chip that I'm going to see if I can fix. Thanks. These trucks are bad. They don't slow down at all. That's post fixing it. It actually looks a lot better. Um, the crack is mostly hidden. There was a little bit of glass left, but uh, I think it did a good job. I used this uh, Rain-X windshield repair kit I got off of Amazon. Highly recommend <laughs> getting one of these if you're coming this way. So we're all fueled up at Eagle Plains, repaired the, the chip on the windshield, and we're back on our way. When I stopped to get gas, I told the guy about my window chip, and he said that he gets asked all the time if they do repairs, and his answer was, nope, don't do that. So be prepared and bring your own stuff as much as you can um, if you're gonna attempt this highway. Our next stop, is the Arctic Circle and we're gonna stop there in about 30 minutes. We made it to the Arctic Circle 
the Arctic Circle sign. So it's a real bummer we get here to the Arctic Circle and the smoke has rolled in. It was clear earlier we saw some blue sky but now with the smoke here it's really hard to get a good glimpse of the view. It's a bummer because it would be epic I'm sure if, if it was clear. We also are getting some thunder. I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but uh, we might get some more rain on the way up. Still mosquitoes. And, and, <laughs> and never ending mosquitoes. Just keep that in mind. Everywhere you go up here, mosquitoes. Back into the dust mobile. Dust and dirt everywhere. My tape that I added here is not holding up too well. I need to either add some more or come up with a different solution. Rocks are still getting in there. Every crack, every crevice. And look at all the rocks down in there, oh my gosh. And this fuel can, probably not the best place for it. The back of this thing, crazy dirty. Can't even see the tail lights. probably. This is just a dirt ball. I think this road is the true test of any vehicle. Tires look like they're holding up okay. Nothing looking low. So I'm off the side of the road because that person right there has a flat and he did not have a jack that would lift up the rear of his RV, his truck with a camper on it. So I'm letting him borrow my jack, which is designed to go much higher. So we're here on the side just to, uh, to make sure that he can get his spare on. He actually said this is his second flat today. So it's real people, flats happen on this road for sure. So just be aware. That's on. Make sure you park it too up. Yeah, I'm going to. Okay, guys, get there. We uh, were able to, uh, they were able to get their spare tire mounted and on, and they're on their way. Uh, and we are on ours. They gave us a quick tip though that we should visit grandma's kitchen for some muktuk in Taktoyaktak. It's a whale blubber. We'll see how that goes. I forgot to mention that his, uh, the friends of the people that we helped out um, had also gotten flats. So we'll probably run into them still. I am hoping that my tires will survive and I won't have to deal with it but I did come fully prepared with a big bottle jack slash jack stand, which is great for lifting your vehicle uh, high up, which is what he needed and he didn't have. And I also brought an impact wrench so that I can easily change the tire fast and easily. Also something that you should think about um, having with you. found the friends of Joy and, Joy and Andy, who we helped out previously. That was fun. Another bout with mosquitoes and flat tires. They were still stuck on the side of the road because their spare tire that they had with them didn't fit their truck. But we tried the tire repair kit that I brought with me. It was a big rock jammed into his tire. Uh, the tire repair kit just couldn't fix it. It was too big of a hole. And he said this particular stretch of road is the worst, um, which makes me super nervous. And he said once we get up to the Northwest Territories, the road gets better. Um, and so that's what we're hoping. Uh, I don't want to flat on the trailer either. <laughs> says, no flats, fingers crossed. Woo. Woo. Made it, Northwest Territories, there it is.
Fort McPherson next stop and then we're gonna hit Inuvik or right before Inuvik Arctic Ocean 415 kilometers we're getting closer is real guys this is the third person we've run into um, with a flat tire mosquitoes everywhere um, because of a late spring um, and really hot weather this is the worst mosquito horde that they've had so if you decide to come on this trip make sure you're prepared with the gas tires and if you can get those mosquito zappers, hopefully it's not as bad, but if it is, man, they're just attacking. Well, we stopped again to help someone. That is flat number three. Abram Francis Ferry Crossing. It says the last trip is 12.45. The first trip is 9.30 a.m. So uh, no problem making that. Just one car in front of us. Actually these guys in front of us were also helping out the last person with their flat tire. <laughs> Everyone seems to stop to help out so that's good. But I don't know if we'll make it to Inuvik. It says we'll get there 12.30 now. We'll see what happens. McPherson it is almost 10 o'clock at night if you can believe it, which is probably why most stuff is closed. So, so we thought we would stop in Fort McPherson and top off. I'm at a half a tank and uh, all the gas stations are closed apparently. 
and so we're gonna have to keep going that's all there is to it and hope that we can make it to the next in a big oh and the trailer has been plastered in mud you can kind of see it it's black we went through some muddy dirt road and it just coated it I sure hope my setup this morning is going to keep it from getting inside the trailer we'll see I take it back about the mud flaps talked about it earlier thinking that they were doing a pretty good job but uh, when we really got into some mud not so much now the trailer is completely coated I'm just praying that what I did this morning will keep some of that out of the inside so we're not sleeping on a wet muddy dirty mattress second ferry crossing mv lewis cardinal ferry I was a little nervous that we may not have missed <clears throat> the last time because it is at 11 30 p.m it says the first time in the morning is 8 30 a.m the last one 11 30 p.m and when you cross into the northwest territories you gain or lose an hour it's like mountain time in the u.s even though it's further west than Seattle, if that makes any sense. It's 10.40 now, and we got here at like 10.30 something. And I was worried that our clocks didn't adjust and that it was actually 11.30, but uh, we've been sitting here waiting. The ferry is on its way back to this side. Hopefully we'll get a ride. If not, we'll be stuck on this side for the night. Oh my God, pick up the kitten, butthole. So we decided to pull off the side of the road, maybe to get something to eat. Uh, there was a place on High Overlander that we decided to check out, but look at the Jeep. Oh my gosh, look at that. It is so bad. Got a new paint job on the trailer. It's called Northwest Territories Brown. Almost midnight here. 
and uh, that's I guess what you would call a sunset or sort of a sunset but uh, feeling frustrated uh, so many issues with the trailer uh, it's not holding up well to uh, the beating that this road is giving it um, I tell you what anyone who wants to test the trailer bring it to the dumpster it will truly give it a full rundown on whether it can handle everything i mean it has given this thing a major beating the road is rough it's super dusty it's wet muddy and if it holds up to this i would buy it i'll tell you that right now so after repositioning i noticed that we almost lost one of our solar panels probably because of the vibrations that's literally how it was hanging on was by a thread i don't know how i'm gonna fix that i gotta figure that out um the new one i added is much more secure screwed in and bolted down um this one was literally just these cheapo hinges that's something new to deal with um, but I can't get back on this road. It's so rough. Uh, I can't do it like this. Uh, may have to go down to one solar panel if necessary. My duct tape solution for the doors didn't really hold up as well as I had hoped. Still got dust inside. Not a ton of water, but definitely dust. I uh, got inside. I mean, just look at this mud caked on everywhere was not expecting this uh, on this trip. 